I think that's just about it as well for research. So we should be doing pretty well. How are we doing over here? Maybe I should do with a little bit more research. Maybe pay these guys off a little bit more. Research does pay off. Uh, but I'll just leave it at the uh, defaults, to be honest. Because usually you end up just um, maxing out the research before um, the end of the mission. And then you're stuck not doing anything. So a freighter has exported 8000 dollars worth of goods. Jeez, we're making money again. Which is great news for me. No need to be exporting anything extra, really. Or at least arresting citizens as well. Seems to be doing pretty well for ourselves. And the music has definitely been um, updated, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I played Tropico, but definitely haven't heard this kind of stuff in a very long time. Let's go with the punishment chambers. Because why not? It'll help us out in the long run as well. Uh, it seems like it, we've got a uh, decent enough military. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Nine more citizens have arrived in Tropico. Uh, which we probably should go ahead and uh, deliver some country houses. To the people in need. There we go. Just trying to organize it a little bit better, but they'll just have to do As all these construction workers come along, look at them go. Going to all these different buildings. Very nice. They should do us proud with a lot more buildings. And all right, let's go start arresting some citizens because why not, right? So, I've got the money for it is what I'm trying to get at. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, it seems like I'll need a another just we just arrested all of them. Um, uh, prisons, prisoners, is it full? Should be. Why isn't it full? One out of five. So maybe I should I should be able to arrest more people, right? I don't know why it stopped letting us arrest people. No available free prison cells. All right, so I guess that is the case. But see here, it says zero out of five prisoners. So something's not adding up. It's definitely not adding up. Um, I'm assuming that's a bug. Knowing me though, it's probably something that I'm doing the wrong. <laughs> uh, let's just place another dungeon right next to the one that we've got currently. Over here. Probably it would be the smartest to place the dungeons right next to each other. But it's got enough as it looks is. like the buried treasures I was told about were actually natural treasures. Nope. Because that means I'll have to go exploring. I, don't, I know there's a mine here, but I'll just leave it. Disaster. The revolutionaries are demanding that you insult the king. I will always insult the king. The best way to insult the king would be to seduce his queen. That is obvious. Fuck the way you think. I entered you into the annual list of would-be lovers for the queen. You have been allowed to pursue one action to impress her. Write her a poem, give her a gift, or send Penultimo to serenade her. How can you not want to love Penultimo to serenade her? Let's go do that. Oh, I am the very model of a modern major general. <laughs> Worth it. The queen was very impressed by me. However, she seems to be not that well in the head. She kept talking about no one sending her a pet monkey before. She gave me some money and sent me away. Oh, it seems like uh, we did get a bit of a boost to our budget as well. Like two, th two and a half thousand dollars, I think. After Newspapers have been unlocked. The reason I just go ahead and um, skip all of that is because it's the exact same dialogue as um, the original Tropico 5. And it gets very repetitive just hearing that over and over again. So 
because it's not different, I just uh, click OK. So hopefully some of you guys that haven't played uh, the original Tropico or haven't watched the series don't mind that. But I mean, once you've heard it once, you've heard it about an infinite times. So I've heard it all that there is to hear. Uh, there's not really much for us to do, I don't think. It's just a waiting game, really, until they keep on sending us these missions, I'm fairly certain. Um, so, it's about time that we went to the Almanac again. And this guy's arrested, isn't he? Yeah. So, let's go arrest some of these people that are yet to be arrested. And that should be 12 out of 12. There we go. Another mission completed. So, that's extended our mandate by quite a bit. The crown sent us another big bunch of money. Thankfully, ships don't hit each other, which is also good. And we are expected to make a heck of a lot of money. It's also very nice. My good fellow, I have it from a very reliable source that there be... Right. So what we all do is we will go ahead and start exploring. Um... What I'll do is I'll tell these guys to come up over here. Now, the reason I do that is because the way that this game works is that for the most part, these guys are going to walk in a straight line. Hopefully, the angle to get to here where I sent them, I actually didn't even notice this, sec uh, this third mine over here. Um, hopefully, they will walk roughly past this mine. So, we'll unlock that. There won't be a fog of war. And then we'll get um, this one and this one, obviously. So that's where they're coming to, but are we going to be able to get this one? I don't think so. Ooh, it's going to be close. No, I don't think they'll be close enough to actually explore this mine, which is a shame. But all right, as long as I get this second one, I'm happy with that. There's that oil. Oil deposit spilling everywhere. So that animation is definitely not running at 60 frames a second. That's for certain. We have invented red tape. Pretty cool though, nonetheless. Uh, it's how they do it. Oh, they spotted another oil well. Oil deposit. And... Oh, we can actually recall them from the expedition. I don't remember that being an option. Uh, can't upgrade our personal death squads. Unfortunately, one of the better parts of the game. All right, so what do we have over here? We've got coal deposits. And what's this? That's iron. Okay. Now, hopefully, I come along and hug the left-hand side. Maybe. Let's see. No, they're just going to walk straight back. Oh, no. They are indeed. All right. Um, is there anything around over here? No, it's just that coal. Nothing up around here. Alright. So, you know what? Because we've got so much money, I'll just go ahead and tell these guys to explore up around here. And then where else can they go explore? That, that definitely has got to be gold. I mean, I'm certain of it. If it's not, I'd be very, very surprised. Oh, it's not. Okay. Send them in to explore over here. All right. Whatever they say. But on to continually playing the game, waiting for us to actually gain independence. Oh, chap. Things are going south. And by south, I mean Australia. And by Australia, I mean a place where... Um, problem is, I don't know how to actually proclaim independence. <laughs> I'm s I'm sure that um, they just give us a mission to do so after a set amount of time. So there was gold in those mountains. Jolly good, old chap. I believe it's only fair that I get a piece of the pie, having supplied the information and all that. Whatever you say, Lord Oaksworth, but um, I'll give you that. Alright, so at least we found the gold. I'm not going to be selling it this episode at all. 
um, because I do want to go ahead and uh, refine it into jewelry. The trade offer for cotton with West India Company has been completed. Very nice. So that means uh, we need to go back to trading and that's it that we have over here. How about we go to sugar and um, do that? Okay. That'll help. We've explored a bit more of this um, island now as well, which is always great. We, the leaders of the and we've researched everything that there is to research. Haven't we? We have indeed. All right, cool. What does this do? Ah, oh, that's just the options that we can check out. We are playing this game on, I'm pretty sure as high as it'll go. Yeah. Right. Get out of here. Wait for us to be able to proclaim independence. There's definitely got to be something that I'm missing here. We must be able to proclaim independence somehow. Instead of just mission instead of just through missions but that's the only way i can remember it maybe my mandates are just too large and i need to wait for it to slow down a little bit and then they'll just chuck us a mission who knows we've got a lot of a lot of money to invest though so what we will do is let's see produces cheese from milk um, what does this produce milk Okay. Um, forage pens increases effectiveness of the goat ranch by 10 for each nearby plantation and hydroponic farm. This can be useful. So what's its effectiveness now? Doesn't really say, does it? That's good enough though. So what I'll do is I'll build a creamery. Build a creamery right over here. And I build another couple more, build another couple of ranches with goats. Right. That should do the trick. So we can uh, make more money. Got to spend money to make money, as they say. And that is exactly what we are doing over here, quite successfully at that, because um, we've amassed almost fifty thousand dollars now. Should last us quite a bit. Maybe I could get around to building those other docks. The dread pirate black. There's no way that's um, another mission that I've got to do, but I'll do it anyway. And that's got to be an infrastructure, right? It is. Tropico itself has given us a way. Nope, not gonna export that gold. Sorry, I'm well, not really sorry though. I need that gold for another time when uh, we're on Struggle Street. So cool seeing how everything works in the game though. I remember when I first read that Tropico 5 was coming out, I thought it'd be so long away. In 2015, or 2014 when it came out, it came by so quickly, it came around so incredibly quickly, it's unbelievable how quick time flies. Like all these game releases, you think, oh, they're so far away, it's going to take forever for it to come out. Next minute, it's already out, already been two expansion packs to the game, which, um, I must say, the expansion packs, I haven't really been advertising them anywhere near as much as what they um, did for the Tropico 4 one. I'll stick with one trade route. Alright, but I think that'll be it. This will be the end of the fourth episode. Jeez, we are um, plowing through this. Um, we'll have to wait until uh, I figure out what's going on. Because there's got to be something that I'm missing here. Has offered a huge sum for the capture of Black Soul Patch before he becomes more than a mere nuisance.